Hi, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I'm super excited about today's video. So today I am teaming up with About Face Beauty again. So I'm gonna be showing you how I use uh, my favorite About Face Beauty products. We're gonna be creating a tutorial. I broke a nail. I don't wanna talk about it. And the best part is that you'll be able to get 15% off of all of these products. Um, there will be a link or a code or both down below in the description, so don't forget to check that out. Uh, so some of my faves from About Face are, this is actually really recent, but my uh, the brow pencil, the brow artist, I've fallen in love with, love it so much. Uh, the shadow sticks, the About Face paints, liquid eye paint, matte fluid eye paints, matte fluid eye paints, and the products that literally made me fall in love with About Face. Like I think these were actually the first products that I used where I was like, okay, uh, were the fractal eye pants. All the fractal, honestly, all of the fractal products, including the fractal brow, okay? So we're gonna be creating a look with this today. I'm gonna show you how I use all of these products. I'm gonna start off with my brows because it's the only thing that I don't have as far as like face face goes. Uh, but I just wanna do some swatching for you to begin with. So if you guys don't know about face, I'd be surprised if you didn't. Uh, they are all about like high pigment, artistry, super long wearing. Uh, all of their products are vegan, cruelty-free, and clean. They all have like super buildable formulas. Um, for instance, the fractal glitter eye paints can be built up to like really, really, um, pay. oh, matches my top so perfectly. Or you can like really sheer them out. You can kind of like blend them out so that they're just like a little bit of a topper. So you have buildable formulas here, which is really great. They are all about like you, dude, it's like I thought about these colors. that are all about expressing yourself however you want, okay? So you can blend things out to use as bases, to layer on top of, or really build them up so that they make like a major statement, you know? Same with the eyeshadow sticks. You can really build that up. So it's all about like pigment saturated, buildable formulas that will be wearable, but they'll also allow you to express your artistry. I think I said this in my last collab with them, but one of my favorite things about them is that like, so far they don't have things like foundation and concealer. And who knows, maybe they'll start, maybe they'll dabble. But what I really love is that they came out, out like full force with the color and the creative stuff. So it's not about like covering up your skin. It's about like expressing what you want to with what you already have, you know? So I'm going to start off with the About Face Brow Artist Eye Pencil in Taupe to sketch out my brows. All of these products are available at About Face and Ulta.com as well. I fell in love with this formula immediately because it has like such a, an amazing, well, first of all, the color, this is taupe. This retails for $16, wait, 16? Yeah, $16 it is so perfect. Taupe is so amazing for my brows. And I was a little like concerned because it was very creamy, very like pigmented. I don't usually like a brow product that's pigmented like that, but there's like this really nice grip to the product you can feel it like if you swatch it or if you have it, you can feel when you put it down, it has almost like a, it's almost like a clay-like texture. So it like really holds onto, it like pulls onto those brow hairs and it makes it just like, I don't know. I don't even really know how to describe it, but man, this stuff does not move. So you've, if you have any problems with like brow pencils going down and staying, this is definitely like a really good one. That are. Such a creepy sound, the cat just like slinked in. So I love it, it just blends with um, my brow color so perfectly. So I'm gonna go in with taupe first to sketch out the shape and kind of just like do an initial fill, which is really all I need to be honest. Super quick and easy. I'm gonna use the um, little spoolie to brush that out. All right, now I'm going to set my brows with my Dr. Bronner soap, like I always do. So just using my Sigma spoolie, get my soap a little bit wet, make a paste, brush that through my brow hairs to set them into place. I 
Um, okay, so now that that has set my soap, uh, I'm gonna go in with Ash Brown in this, with the same brow pen, pencil, I always do that. Um, I'm gonna use the like skinny side because it is like a, it's one of these guys where it's fatter on one end. It's always impossible to show you on this camera, but it gets, you see? Fatter on one end and then it gets skinnier on the other. I'm gonna use the top skinny side. So I'm going to fill individual brow hairs at the tail where it's more sparse. It's kind of like turning it and using different sides. You can either like do this light fill or you can get, can you hear that? <laughs> Ziva, she's trying to knock stuff off my desk. Come on, bro. <clears throat> but then she gets mad at me when I try to pick her up and have her come over here and say hi. I'm going to start off, I think, with, um, I wanna do like a smoky eye, but with like a colorful pop. So with also shimmer, <laughs> we're gonna do all the things. So I'm gonna use the um, shadow stick, the matte shadow stick in the shade Kill the Lights, which is the black shade. They do have a sharpener in the butt, just so you know, which is very helpful, especially when you need detail. So I'm actually gonna start off on the inner part of the eye. So I'm gonna place the shadow stick right in here. You hear that noise outside? The construction here never ends. And I'm gonna go in with my, uh, the new E30 brush. This is the pencil brush from uh, Shayla's collection with Sigma. And I'm gonna blend mostly around the edges. These do set. You wanna keep in mind that all of these products, because they're long wearing, they will set. So once you put it down, like if you are gonna do blending, you wanna do it immediately. Because the longer you wait, uh, they set. So I want the majority of them. She's making so much noise, it's so rude. Um, the majority of the pigment right in the center. And then I'm gonna go to the outer corner. So I'm gonna start off here, line this part of the eye. I'm kinda, kinda like uh, focus it in like the end of my eye socket. I don't really know what shape I want yet though. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit round. Diffuse it into the crease. And I prefer using kind of like patting and dragging motions rather than like rubbing. Just based on my eye shape. I want to bring this out into a little bit more of a lift. Okay, so now that I have the shape that I want, I'm gonna go on to the other eye. Now the way that I like to use these is as a base for my powder eyeshadow. Because I think that they make like your shadows pop so much more and it ends up being way more long wearing. Also really nice to be able to like sketch out a shape, um, when, especially when you have like a full face of makeup on and not have to worry about fallout. That is one of the best parts in my opinion. <laughs> So now that I have that base, I'm gonna go in with black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use the one from my Hindash palette, uh, Fatum, this shade right here. I'm gonna use my little Refer 13 brush and I'm gonna buff that right on top of the shadow stick. I'm gonna intensify that color and soften the finish. See how like black <laughs> that looks? It's so nice. And I only had to go with a tiny bit of the powder eyeshadow because we already have that really nice black base that is gripping onto that eyeshadow. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Like it's, it's gonna last all night long, you know? Not that I'm doing anything tonight, but. Uh, all right, so using another Sigma <laughs> collab. This is Sigma Samantha uh, Detail Blending Brush. I'm gonna pick up that same black shadow and I'm gonna place that in the inner part of the eye over that black. Okay, so now for the lid, I don't know what I'm doing with my lower lash line yet, so we're gonna hold off on that for now. For the lid, I want to use, prop might be, it might be my all time favorite about face product, just because it holds like such a special place in my heart, the Fractal Glitter Eye Paint. It's so, when I first used this, I mean, obviously swatches, you know what I mean? Like right here, two completely different things going on. 
very sheer, super payoff. I think I used like a teal color the first time and I was like blown away by the finish of it. It was amazing. So these are $16, which is again, super affordable. Um, they last forever. That's one of the things about, I'm just fixing this um, side. It looks like it goes up a little or it's down a little too low. Uh, this one is in the shade Fracture, but I think I'm gonna use a couple of them. So I really want like the payoff. So I'm gonna straight up paint this on. Uh, and again, this is super long wearing, but you wanna make sure that you have your eyelid as flat as possible if you're applying it like right on your eyelid, especially if you have any creases, uh, and let it dry while you do that. So I'm gonna paint this right in the center. And then I'm gonna go in with one of those brushes, which I probably should have picked up first, the Shayla brush, and I'm just gonna pat around that edge to kind of diffuse that shimmer. And now I'm just gonna sit, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Patrick Paul fan. Really comes in handy for this kind of moment. And this isn't going anywhere. Like when I first did this, I put like the teal one all over my eyes and kind of like a cat eye shape. And I was amazed by not only the finish of it, but the fact that it literally did not move. <sighs> It's so pretty. So just patting it. I'm not trying to like remove any coverage or anything. I'm just patting around the edges to make sure that it's diffusing into that black. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the gold fractal glitter eye paint uh, in Apollo Empire. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this, actually, I'm just gonna keep it on this. I don't know what I was gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the Sigma uh, Precision Firm Blender brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this and I'm gonna pat it right in the center of that. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit more dimension. Not that it isn't dimensional, but I just wanna add like a little bit more of a highlight right in the center of that. So I just wiped off my brush and now I'm just patting. All right, I think I'm gonna wait on the pop of color. I think I'm gonna go in with the um, shadow stick on my lower lash line. Place this on the outer part of my eye, connecting it up. And then using my Refer 03 brush, I'm just going to blend that. I just wanna give my eyes a little bit more definition. These are really great for your lower lash line, especially if you have watery eyes. It's like I said, they're not gonna move. So if your eyes happen to water, it's not gonna like wash everything away. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that Hindash Black Fatum and set that shadow stick. Ziva's going through my trash right now. Don't know why. And then for my very inner corner on my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the Fractal Glitter Eye Paint in Tin Pan Alley. I'm just gonna paint it on. Do I wanna blend that? Oh, think fast. I'm just gonna pat it out a little bit. That sound is really driving me insane. It's been happening this whole time. Ugh, but the makeup is so gorgeous. We can just like let that be the focus. Now, super excited. All right, and you're probably like, especially if you've watched my channel a bunch, you're probably like, like where are the eye paints? I mean, not, we, these are called eye paints, but where are the fluid matte eye paints? <laughs> Cause I always rave about these, uh, especially like this kind of a color. So I'm going to use the matte fluid eye paint in the shade Replicant, Gorge. Literally disappears, it just disappears into the background. So what I love about these is that like I showed you, um, you can blend it out so that it, it works as like an eyeshadow base, similar to how we use the shadow sticks, but uh, it's not such a thick formula that you can't use it as like a liner. So that's typically how I like to use these because they have such amazing colors, including this one. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand. And I have this little nail art brush that I got on Amazon. So I'm gonna use this to pick up a little bit of that matte fluid eye paint. And I wanna make sure that I'm like evenly coating the liner brush. And then, everybody hold your breath. I'm going to line above this guy. 
And again, these are super long wearing. They're not going anywhere. So you can do all of this like detail work if you want. You don't have to worry about messing it up. Okay, I'm getting a new one. It's gonna be the tricky part. Oh, it's not even at all. It's not even at all. If you go in with just like a flat brush or even an angled brush immediately and just kind of like confidently remove whatever is uneven, you should be good. All right, I'm gonna curl my lashes with my rougher lash curler. And then apply a couple coats of the Buxom Extrovert Mascara. Just got so close to my face to apply mascara to my lower lashes and um, zero fallout. Oh, it's the best. I love this eye look. It's like such a throwback Alex look. Um, all right, and then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with, I'm super excited about these, um, Auric New Lashes. I just don't know which ones I want to use. Those are a lot. I don't wear lashes anymore, so I just don't know, you know? Ooh, I like those. Are those too big? All right, I'm gonna use the full lash, the full glass wing lash um, by Auric. Oh, I haven't worn a false lash in a really long time. This is the, first of all, this is the eye look up close and personal. Finished with the lashes and mascara. Absolutely love. I think it's amazing. But I had to include my last favorite absolute favorite about face product, which is the Fractal uh, Brow. Glitter Brow? Fractal Glitter Brow? Uh, this one is in the shade Gold Dust Woman, and these are $14. So the way that I like to use them, because obviously I've already like set my brows with soap, I will use the flat side first. So it has like a little, I don't know if you can see, it's got a little comb, but then it has a flat side on the back. So what I do is paint them with the flat side first, and then I will turn it and kind of just like brush it through really gently so that I'm not disturbing my soap with the comb. And these are so amazing. I never thought that I needed glitter brows until these. They're just like a, it's just like a really fun way to elevate, like, I don't know, festival makeup or just like regular makeup in general, like it's, especially if you're wearing like a, a natural look, it's just like this really pretty thing that just kind of like pops, you know? And I like doing it this way so that I can have my like nice structured, you know, filled brows, but also get like a little bit of um, like a sparkle. Super pretty for holiday too. Isn't that so dope? It's like so subtle, you know, it's not too much. All right guys, so this is the finished look. How do we feel? Would you wear it? What do you think? Oh, I think this might have to be my new Year's Eve look, <laughs> to be completely honest. Actually, I'm definitely wearing the glitter brows for New Year's Eve. All right, guys, those are all of my favorite products from About Face Beauty. Uh, if you are interested, those are the products, or if you haven't like checked them out and you love makeup and you love color and you love experimenting, I highly recommend. I think they're amazing. Um, I mean, clearly, just given what I was able to create here. I do say so myself. And just keep in mind that you can get 15% off. So there will be either be a code or a link down below in the description. Highly recommend About Face Beauty. I absolutely love them so much. So a, a major thank you to them for wanting to work with me because it's always like the best thing in the world when you find a brand that you absolutely love and you're like 100% behind what they're doing and they wanna support you too from like an influencer's point of view. It's kind of awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if this is something that you would wear. I know this is like such a throwback to like my old kind of style, super like reflective smoky eyes with like, I don't know, graphic liner and stuff. Uh, I love it, I love revisiting it. And I'm wearing lashes, like this is old Alex coming back. Um, please let me know your thoughts and yeah. Let me know if you wanna see any more looks like this. Do you want more smoky eyes? Do you want more like, intensity, I guess, from my eye looks. I've been very simple. Do we need more? All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, thank you about face, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.